Good morning, my dear students. First of all, I want to introduce myself to you all. This is your English teacher, Ms. Reem. I wish this year, inshallah, will be full of success and great achievements, and I am so hopeful and ambitious to make you get the highest marks and reach your targets. Sabah al-khair, talibat al-azizat. قبل كل شيء أود أن أعرف نفسي لكم مدرسة اللغة الإنجليزية ستريم أتمنى إن شاء الله هذه السنة تكون مليئة بالنجاح والإنجازات الكبيرة وكل أمل وطموح بأن أجعلكم تحصلون إن شاء الله على الدرجات العالية وتصلون إلى أهدافكم First of all, I want to explain the first lecture for you, which is the present perfect continuous. درسنا الأول هو المضارع التام المستمر. As you all know, there are three types of sentences. The first one is the affirmative sentences. الجمل المثبتة. The rule. Our affirmative sentences should begin by putting the subject, then followed by one of the auxiliaries has or have, been, the verb, and the ing. جملتنا المثبتة يجب أن تبدأ بالفاعل تليها واحدة من الأفعال المساعدة has أو have وبعدها been الفعل و ing. The first group of pronouns we call them the subject, the pronouns he, she, it, take, has. While the second group of pronouns I, you, we, they, take, have. Examples. She has been studying English since two o'clock. B. I have been driving for three hours. Look at the two examples. She is the third person singular. She, as I said, takes has. Plus been, the verb study, adding to it ing, and the complement of the sentence. While I take have been the verb drive adding to it ing and the complement of the sentence. Have you understood the rule? Okay. The second type of sentences is the negative sentences. الجمل المنفية. The rule. Our negative sentences should begin also by putting the subject, followed by one of the auxiliaries, hasn't or has not, haven't or have not, plus been, plus the verb and the ing. Examples. She hasn't been waiting. She is the subject. Followed, of course, by has plus not, been, the verb wait, adding to it ing. While the second example, we haven't been watching TV. We, as I said, takes have plus not plus been, the verb watch, adding to it ing, and the complement of the sentence. So the difference between the affirmative sentences as, and the negative sentences الفرق الجمل المثبتة والمنفية إنه المثبتة تأخذ has بينما الجمل المنفية has not have في الجمل المثبتة و have not بالجمل المنفية Sometimes we call the present perfect continuous tense the present perfect progressive. 
والاثنان تعطي نفس المعنى المضارع التام المستمر More examples of the present perfect continuous Jane started to work in her garden at 8 o'clock this morning Now it is 12 o'clock She has been working in her garden for 4 hours بدأت جين بالعمل في حديقتها الساعة الثامنة والآن هي الساعة الثانية عشر استخدمنا هنا المضارع التام المستمر has been working لكونها استمرت بالعمل في حديقتها لمدة أربع ساعات إذا المضارع التام المستمر يدل على استمرارية الحدث Wow, she must be tired now Note, in English we don't usually use stative non-action verbs With continuous tenses. ملاحظة مهمة بناتي باللغة الإنجليزية عادة لا نستخدم الأفعال الغير حركية non-action أو ما تدعى بالساكنة stative مع الأزمنة المستمرة. Example: Jean got a headache two hours ago. She still has a headache now. She has been having a headache. For two hours. Here the sentence is incorrect. هذه الجملة خاطئة. لماذا? Because have is a stative verb. Have فعل ساكن. We don't like to put it in continuous form. ولا نحب أن نضع بالشكل المستمر. So instead, we use a present perfect. I mean a present perfect simple. بدلا عنه نستخدم المضارع التام البسيط جين has had a headache for two hours which is a correct sentence وهذه الجملة صحيحة Now we come to the third type of sentences which is the questions النوع الثالث من الجمل هي الجمل الاستفهامية أو الأسئلة The questions are divided into two types The yes no questions يقسم أو تقسم الأسئلة إلى الأسئلة التي أجوبتها قصيرة تبدأ بيس أو نو Let me give you the rule The yes no questions should begin by the auxiliaries first has or have الأفعال المساعدة then the subject being the verb and the ing and the question mark so my dear students I want to ask you a question what is the difference between the questions and the affirmative sentences شنو الفرق بين الأسئلة بناتي و الجمل المثبتة الفرق أسمع منكم نعم في القاعدة قاعدة الأسئلة يجب أن تبدأ بواحدة من الأفعال المساعدة ويليها الفاعل أما الجمل المثبتة فتبدأ بالفاعل ومن ثم واحدة من الأفعال المساعدة Examples Have they been swimming in the pool for a long time? Yes, they have. B. Has Noor been preparing for the final exam? No, she hasn't. Look at the two examples. Both of them begun by the auxiliaries have here and has here. But it مثل ما تشوفون بالأفعال المساعدة followed by the subjects here we have they and the second one we have نور then being the verbs swim and prepare adding to them ing and the complement of the questions and look at the answers here we have yes they have here we have negative no she hasn't Now we come to the second type of questions, 
We call it the WH questions. النوع الثاني من الأسئلة نسميه WH questions. The rule: Our WH questions should begin by one of the question words. لازم يبدأ بواحدة من كلمات السؤال مثل how long, how many, how far. Followed by one of the auxiliaries. يليه واحد من الأفعال المساعدة has أو have. Then the subject, الفاعل, being, a verb, and the ing and the question mark. Let me give you some examples. A. How long have Ahmed and Saad been sleeping? B. How many letters has Selwa been writing? C. How long has Mustafa been driving his car? He has been driving for two hours. If we look back at the three examples, all of them begun by the question words how long, how many, and how long. Then, have here because we have the subject plural Ahmed and Saad عندنا الفاعل جمع لذلك أخذ الفعل المساعد have then being the verb sleep and the ing the second example how many letters the question word followed by has because Selwa is singular مفرد Selwa أخذت has then being the verb right adding to it ing and the third example the question word how long followed by has because we have here Mustafa is singular too third person singular شخص ثالث مفرد then being the verb drive adding to it ing and the complement of the question the answer الجواب بدأ بالفاعل he has been driving for two hours look at this chart my dear students this question is for you. هذا السؤال لكم طالبات العزيزات. Which one is the correct present perfect continuous tense? Anna danced since morning. The choices are A. Has been dancing. B. Had been dancing. C. Have been dancing. أي خيار هو الصحيح؟ Anna is the subject. And the verb dance between two brackets, I want you to correct it. And then the complement of the sentence. Yes, of course. Very good. A is the correct answer. Has been dancing. Why? Because Anna, third person singular. Anna شخص ثالث مفرد. ضميرها شيء. إذن تأخذ has. زائد بين كون عندنا مضارع تام مستمر زائد الفعل دانس بحذف الإي مضاف له آي إن جي بينما الخيار الثاني بي هاد بن دانسينج إز إن كوريكت خاطئ لأنه ماضي تام مستمر إن سي هاف بن دانسينج إز إن كوريكت تو أيضا الخيار الثالث خطأ لأن أن مفرد لا يأخذ الفعل المساعد have. Have you been reading? Yes, I've read three books. What have you been doing? Nothing. I've just arrived. Do you have any questions, my dear students? أتكم أسئلة طالبات العزيزات؟ Okay, if you don't have any questions, at the end of my lecture, I thank you very much for paying attention. 
أشكركم جزيل الشكر لإصغائكم